Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to Dead Frontier 3D guys. So before anything guys, first of all, happy Easter, okay? Um, I don't think it's happy Easter, but happy Easter Dead Frontier event. Uh, we're all stuck at home playing this event, so enjoy the most of it. Uh, second of all, the giveaway guys. All I saw is people put in their in-game name and just thinking it's just gonna be a giveaway like any other. No. So this is why I'm gonna explain it in this video before we get into the, the weapons. First of all, the giveaway at hand is not just gonna be me picking a name and that's it, all right? The giveaway is basically going to be me doing a live stream and me going outside into the southeast end zone bunker so all you gotta do is just be at the second end bunker okay that's all you gotta do go outside and i'm going to turn on pvp and the first person to kill me out there will get the three million that i promise that's it that's all you gotta do so tomorrow around 3 p.m eastern time for or around 4 p.m regardless i'm gonna start a live stream okay we're gonna get ready for it. I'm gonna wait for about half an hour, 40 minutes for everybody to be at the second on bunker outside. And the only goal you have is to just kill me. That's it. Uh, the first person to kill me will obviously again get the three mil. And yeah, good luck to everybody. Uh, if you want to make this crazy, you can kill other people so that way you can only kill me or you can just focus on me. It's just, it doesn't matter. You can be a level 10, a level 230, 50, I don't care. And I'm gonna have two people out there looking at the at the death thing just to make sure that we didn't get it wrong. And yeah, good luck everybody. Happy Easter. Uh, this is a celebration for me getting over 70, 80 plus subscribers in less than two weeks. That's amazing, guys. I appreciate the support. I try my best for these videos and I just love the love that I'm getting, guys. Uh, the begging messages are back. That's awesome. But yeah, <laughs> good luck everybody. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into this video. And let me just tell you something, they're nothing short of amazing, okay? Because honestly, for a weapon that costs only one mil to craft and then just a bit of time of you of just grinding bunnies, getting 10 inventories worth of eggs and just simply opening them, it's nothing short of incredible, you know? It's, it's awesome, it's amazing, you know? And like I said, unfortunately the hair splitter you cannot really, you know, craft, but I mean, once you have the hair razor, I pretty much am sure that you don't need anything else but you know these two weapons right here because again you don't need that much craziness just to prove that you're a beast you know <laughs> especially with these guys honestly i'm thinking about getting on my other account just to kind of get these weapons because again they're first they're really amazing first starter weapons so i have 10 days of this event nine now but yeah for you guys who are new take advantage this is amazing but let me shut up and let me show you the power of these weapons so we're gonna start off with the chainsaw and remember as well i have 37 percent damage boost okay so unfortunately this review does not really work for people who don't have the drug okay remember these weapons are amazing maybe because i have drugs on but again they're free they're at least a little bit overpowered and they should help you guys out in the inner city a lot more than just regular 100 weapons snap i got hit <laughs> all right so let's start grinding some zo some zombie heads so as you can tell critical hit for me it's 73 damage and the fact is look at this it's consistent and remember, these guys cannot blow up anymore, so I can just stand here without getting hit, obviously, <laughs> from those- Damn it! Yeah, it, it, that didn't work out so well the first time, I kinda got stuck in a, in a crevice. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, this crate is- this weapon is- remember, melee does not cause these guys to blow up anymore. Just be careful of the guys puking, those guys can cause a bit of an issue, because, again, their puke does a lot of damage, breaks my armor in three hits. But overall, it's just great. I just- you just have to learn how to get around your puke, which right now I'm currently learning. But look at this, it just sweeps them. For a thousand credits, ain't too bad to be honest. Look at this. Just, it's just, and there's nothing to worry about them blowing up. Again, the only thing to worry about is just those long arms puking on you. But if you can just, if you can spot that in time and evade it, you should be okay. <laughs> God, it's just fun, you know, grinding without having the fear of these guys blowing up on you. But do I recommend getting this chainsaw in terms for, you know, aggro one? I mean, if you have no aggro, 100% yes, but it's more louder than a pistol. And a sniper rifle, so it's a little bit more risky when it comes to just wanting to loot in peace, okay? Not only that, but you have to get infinite of their face to at least cause a bit of damage. So, keep that in mind, but it will literally rip them to shreds. There's nothing, you know, that's gonna blow up in your face. They're not gonna, you're not gonna get damage from surrounding zombies. So, just be careful with these uh, long arms, okay? Keep your distance. Be be very careful but overall a great weapon if you just want to like grind it a little bit more challenging but still rips them to shreds in the cap cup in a matter of seconds two three seconds max if you would focus not even like a second max on a, on a zombie if you just focus on that one zombie they will not survive but as you can tell it's crazy again just remember i don't have crazy implants like damage and all that stuff so this is just regular with a damage boost okay so yes very very impressive now the next weapon in the list 
It's the Hellraiser. This is the one that you can basically loot uh, from the Easter Egg 2020 uh, items. You can you only need one mil to craft it, and overall, it's a really good weapon. It does 50 damage a bullet. Watch. Yeah, again, 53. But the fact is is that it does as much, if not more, damage than the Corpse Destroyer. It does a lot of damage for a 1 million weapon, okay? Corpse Destroyer is 9 mil in the market. This, just go out and grind for a bit. Do not miss out on the event. And all it's going to cost you is a bit of your time, maybe a bit, bit of uh, bullets, but play smart, stay in the court, may leave the freaking zombies to, to, to death, and you should get your eggs. But again, enough talking, let's just put this thing to the test. As you can see, it's just amazing. <laughs> 53 damage a hit. I mean, like I said, it's not as, as impressive as the Wraith Cannon, alright? The thing is with these weapons is that these don't have any knockback. But if you're focusing more on damage per hit, this does do a great job at it, okay? 9mm right now is very overpriced, but after the event it should go back down to its regular price, so it should be worth it. It does 257 damage on the critical hit. Not bad. But as I said, for a weapon that costs 1 mil and a bit of grinding, totally worth it, okay? You don't have to wait months or buy credits to buy this weapon, you just gotta grind, 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 grind. Get the items and just basically craft this thing. But overall, it's a great weapon. It has the fast reload speed, which again, I don't have max critical reload. But, you know, if you have like low tier reload like me, I only have like 80 reload. Look how fast it reloads. Almost, insti oh, almost instantly. Of course, those with like 100 plus reload who are re reload freaks, they're going to reload this gun in milliseconds. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, it, overall, it's still a great gun. It, it'll, clean up, it'll clean up the crew, you know? Look at this. Just amazing. But yeah. Pretty much these weapons are fantastic. Comparing it to a Wraith Cannon, obviously there's no contest. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it has knockback. They won't get as near me. But like I said, guys, for a weapon... For a 1 million in-game weapon compared to a $500 weapon in real life, I'd say it's a great trade-off. It's really great. Just like I said, go out there and grind. Get the, get, get the items and just, you know, just grind. It's basically a corpse shooter, just a bit more boosted and... Yeah, pretty much. Alright guys, so I didn't want to make too, the video too long. Again, it's just a quick explanation, alright, uh, for the for the giveaway. Just make sure that you're on here tomorrow. I'm going to do it around 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Just know that the live stream will begin around 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And then I won't start the I won't start the event until everybody's pretty much ready to go. And hopefully we break the game tomorrow. My god, that was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if I were to rate these weapons, i give the Hair Splitter... About a 7 out of 10, you know, it's a little dangerous to kind of grind in the aggro, it's just more going on, you're getting hit more uh, closely, obviously with any melee weapon, they have to get up and close and personally to hit you, but it will shred, alright, it will shred, if there's one zombie alone, there's no way that zombie's gonna survive, it's gonna destroy everything in its path, if you have no aggro, again, perfect weapon, just, just take out a little horde, and you'll pretty much be okay. For the hair, for the hair razor, I mean, I have nothing more to say than if you own the corpse destroyer and is or know a, what a corpse destroyer is, that's what it basically is. But more beefed up, I give this weapon an, a nine out of ten. Again, it doesn't have any knockback, but as you know, but the clip is great, the damage is great, and just for now, nine millimeters is expensive, but just give it time, it'll go down back, it'll go back down to eight k to the way it was, and it should be a great weapon for looting, guys. So yeah, it's Armando signing off, and I'll see you guys very soon. Happy Easter, everybody.